Before the video does start, I would like to ask y'all to go ahead and subscribe and like, and hope y'all enjoy. We just got some great news from Rossi's. So recently, Rossi's has given us our first in-depth look at some underwater sneaks, and these sneaks look really good. We got our first look at potentially an underwater sea beast fight. Now, these boss fights look like they can be extremely fun and potentially finally drag us out of Roblox's Dark Age. We can also see in the sneak that he mentions trenches, so there could also be caves down within the trenches, which could also have possibly legendary equipment or even weapons. Or also, an idea that could be the depths would act as if it's a wipe system, just like how Deep Wogan has their depths. But we also got a new look at the ship combat for the game, and it looks extremely fun and enjoyable. I just hope they make the ship combat rewardable as it is a big part of the game since it is based off One Piece after all. Now the ship combat really looks good after all seeing the effect of it and it really looks refreshing to see a One Piece game have content somewhat focused on the ship combat where it is very in depth instead of just being cannons on a boat. Now off topic. Back to the Ultra Sneaks, the Rebelers have tried to avoid copyright as of now, and they are changing their weapons and bosses slash designs and colors. Weapon reworks seem to be more subtle around this time, with changes such as Sabo's Pipe, Queen's Minigun both being well received. Addressing copyright concerns, Rail Seas is diligently modifying bosses to avoid legal issues, which shows their commitment to quality and authenticity. So this will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, sub, and yeah.